Okay, we're going to begin. We're starting a new document in InDesign. Now we have, this is the command in or get a new thing. Say I'm going to do a label and say the label is, I don't know, four by four inches. So we're going to go ahead and set that up and take facing pages off. I'm going to go ahead and set that up to four by four inches. Um, you want to have your live area or safe zone set and since 4x4 four four is fairly small I'm gonna make my live area which is gonna be my margins around the label all the same equidistant that doesn't always the case in every single design sometimes you have inside margins outside margins especially with facing pages and then you wanna click more options most printers are gonna ask for at least an eighth of an inch bleed but if this is something you're doing for a client or for a project for school, you may be a little not as good at cutting things out. So you may want to have a bleed of 0.25. That means it's going to set a red line around your document that you will bleed your image over. And drag a box. And we're just going to pick a orange color say it's a four color process and we're just going to pick an orange. I don't want a stroke. I can take that off. And I can go to the color thing and just pick an orange. Great. I can add that to my swatch palette like that. And say I want to have my uh, my logo on top of this. Well, I need to import an EPS first, not with the rectangle tool, but with the rectangle frame tool. It has an X in it. Delay. Okay, file, place. I just memorized this command D. And we're going to get a picture, a logo. So it is going to be an EPS. But because I'm in viewing in typical mode, that means it's going to be easier for my computer to um, plop it in and kind of see where it is. Well, it's not coming in all white, but it's coming in really bitmapped. Well, if you want to look to make sure that everything's fine, you can go to Display for Performance and High Quality. And then it looks perfect. But as you can see, my logo is bigger than my box and I'm just zooming out and I'm just hovering over with the white arrow tool I'm hovering over and I get this brown box if I click on it I get a brown box with toggles you need to hold the shift key down so that you're able to scale proportionally your logo now if you just want to adjust it within the space again click it if you want to physically move the whole box you need to click the black arrow instead of the direct select tool just the selection tool and move it sometimes when you're just clicking it'll automatically you'll be on the black tool but it will just go ahead and click with the brown and get the brown so it's just something you have to kind of play with so I'm going to go back so that my computer works a little bit faster and go to typical as I zoom in, I know it looks crappy, but I know when I print it, it's going to be just fine. So it's only going to print to here. I mean, it's going to print all the way out because I've set up this bleed. But it's only going to, you're going to cut this. This is where the crop marks would be. So that's how you import an image.